Hi, I'm going to try something different today in that I'm going to do a real devotional instead of what I've been doing lately, which is talking about how we can grow closer to God during this quarantine. So today let's look at uh, Psalm, Psalm 25, verses 16 to 18. Turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted. Relieve the troubles of my heart and free me from my anguish. Look on my affliction and my distress and take away all my sins. So, loneliness. Yeah, I'm still talking about quarantine. Loneliness has hit all of us, I think, in the last several weeks. We're hanging out by ourselves most of the time. And we miss our friends and we miss our family and we'd rather be going out to church or going out to dinner or whatever and giving people hugs and we're a little bit lonely and that's what this song is talking about people can be lonely because of solitude because they're not seeing other people and that's that's usually the reason folks like me may tell you well now is the time to turn to god but the psalmist is wiser than i am and he says to God, turn to me. He asks God for help. Turn to me and be gracious to me for I am lonely and afflicted. <sighs> yeah, he asks for God's mercy. Pity me, God. Now we don't wanna ask other people to pity us because that kind of hurts our pride, right? We don't want your pity what do you think you're better than I am? But with God, it's okay. But I'd like to think about that. Maybe, maybe what our loneliness is trying to teach us, or what God is trying to teach us through our loneliness, is a little humility. Maybe this is the time to call a friend and say, hey, I'm feeling a little lonely. I'd like to talk. Do you have some time? they probably won't feel all that sorry for you. They'll just say, yeah, of course, I'd love to talk. But open yourself up to that. A little humility is a good thing, right? Plus, I almost forgot this part, plus they'll love it. They like to help. That's what we're here for. We're here to help. People love to help. It makes them feel good. So all they need to know is what to do. So if you call someone and say, help, I need a little conversation, that'll be great on both sides. But people can also feel alone in their suffering. The psalmist says, I am afflicted. I'm alone and I'm afflicted. You may feel that no one quite understands your pain and you're absolutely right. No one does understand your pain the way you do. Nor do you understand others' pain the way they experience it. We're all different. Even if we're having the exact same circumstance, if we're all sitting here in quarantine, we're going to experience it differently. It will be more painful to some people than others. You might have physical pain. You might be ill. Pain is different for each person. But I would say now is the time to look for the lesson in your pain as well as the lesson in your solitude. For example, how about the lesson of compassion? If we all come out of this a little bit more compassionate for others, well, won't that be wonderful? That is what God is trying to mold us into, compassionate people. He's a compassionate God. So, if we're to be like him, we need to be compassionate people. You may also feel alone in your guilt. Again, the psalmist says, relieve the troubles of my heart and free me from my anguish. Look on my affliction and my distress and take away my sins. So, if you are feeling guilty, you might hide because you're feeling ashamed. I know I do that. I often think I don't want other people to know me that well because they get to know me better, they might not like me. I feel guilty. If that's part of your loneliness, I have good news. 
God wants to forgive you. God wants to be gracious. God wants to be merciful. And you can't really hide from God. He already knows what you've done. <laughs> so there's that. Look at my on my affliction and my distress and take away all my sins. I promise God can forgive you. He wants to forgive you. He wants to forget your sin. And that's what the psalmist asks for. Take away all my sins. You don't have to remember them anymore. You don't have to replay all those regrets you have. God will take them. Forget what you've done in the past. Change your ways and live in freedom. Amen.